hello friends hope you are all okay you are all enjoying your life you are also enjoying watching my videos and practicing radiology practicing ultrasound welcome back to ultrasound and uh, radiology teaching videos with dr arshad nadim awad today i'm going to discuss about the bone tumors the tumors which are originated from the bone itself and uh, sometime uh these bone these tumors may arise from the cartilage or may arise from the connective tissues but today i'm going to focus about the bony tumors which uh, are uh, from the origin of the bone so the main and the top one is a uh, bone island bone island is uh, happens to be uh, asymptomatic and it is usually incidental finding while you are doing x ray or you are doing a uh, ct scan reporting so you may come across uh, having a bone island as i mentioned it is a congenital focus usually involves the medullary cavity or sometime very rarely cancellous bones uh, so far its uh, clinical presentations is concerned as mentioned that uh, it its uh, mean its findings are asymptomatic you may not even notice that and during the ct scan and during the x rays you may come across so far its uh, radiological finding on the x rays is concerned it appears to be hyperdense and uh, the main characteristic of this lesion is it will emerge with the surrounding trabeculae which is called as a brush border so this is one important feature of the bone island is the second thing is as far as scintigraphy is concerned it is uh, it shows no uptake but in 25% of cases uh, it may in, it shows an increase uptake there are two special entities which is called as an osteopyelosis osteopyelosis uh, in which there will be a multiple bone island in the uh, sub uh, uh, articular region but the but the shape of these bone island would be round so that would be considered as a osteopyelosis the another is osteopathia striata when these bone islands appears to be elongated and appears to be multiple in in sub articular area so then this will be termed as a um, osteopathia striata so osteopathia striata osteopathia uh, uh, osteopyelosis these are all related to the bone island but there will be multiple bone island how it will appear on the x rays how we will appreciate on the ct scan and how we will look for the scintigraphy let's start watching these images bone island which is also called as anostosis is actually a congenital developmental uh, focus of medullary cortical bone usually seen in the medulla and uh, in the cortical region uh, normally it uh, is asymptomatic and it appears to be an incidental finding while we are doing uh, x ray so it will appear as an incidental findings the common location for the bone island or anostosis are mainly pelvis region uh, femur area is very common especially neck of the femur and beside this other long bones can also be involved for the bone islands before going to show you on the x rays just have a look to this diagram and uh, centrally it is a bone island diagram and it is explaining the brush border uh, surrounding trabecular margins are blending because of this uh, bone island this is the characteristic of this bone that it will cause speculated margins and it will also blend the surrounding trabeculae adjacent trabeculae which you can appreciate on this image very well this is a plain radiograph of a mature skeleton and here on you uh, you can appreciate within the tibia and in the uh, metaphyseal region there is a sclerotic bone lesion this is bone island just pay attention to its surrounding borders indicated by the arrows uh, these uh, surrounding margins are gradually fading up and uh, uh, it is just emerging with the surrounding trabecula so this is the characteristic pattern of the bone island which is also called as anostosis and it will appear on the simple x-rays like that 
Bone island can also involve the vertebral bodies. Here you can appreciate very dense sclerotic lesions uh, on the lateral um, bodies of the vertebral body on the lateral part of the vertebral bodies uh, which you cannot easily appreciate but if you pay attention to you will be able to spot this sclerotic lesion and this is what the location of the bone island is. On the CT and MR, it will appear as an hypo-intense and hyper-dense. Especially in MR, it will be a hypo-intense on all sequences. So here, this is the vertebral column and in the vertebral body, in the center, you can appreciate this is a very well-defined uh, bony lesion and this is bone island which will appear on the MRI like that. It will appear on, uh, as an hyper intense on all uh, sequences so this is anostosis this is bone island a quite clear view for the bone island uh, indicated by the white arrow within the vertebral body here you can appreciate very well defined and that is a hyper dense on the uh, ct scan and hyper intense on the uh, hypo intense on this uh, on the mri the one another thing is you can appreciate that there is a centrally lucent nidus which is a characteristic of a, a osteoid osteoma but this is not osteoid osteoma this is a bone island this is another uh, classical example for the bone island in osteosis here you can appreciate a very sclerotic lesion so these are all the characteristics uh, which you have seen on the different x-rays and on the mri and ct images uh, so it is quite easy to uh, recognize as it's a congenital and developmental anomaly and uh, you will spot this on uh, x-rays or mri or ct scan while you're doing uh, for some other purposes On the scintigraphy or in other word uh, you can call it a bone scan uh, there is usually no uptake but in 25% of uh, giant bone island if the size of the bone island is enlarged so in that case in 25% of the cases it will show increased uptake here on this scan in this scintigraphy you can see that there is a uh, increased uptake and this is the bone island. Osteopyculosis is the term used for whenever there is multiple bone islands and uh, they usually locate in the periarticular region and if there appears to be round in shape that would be called as osteopyculosis. Another term which is used as an osteopathia striata is for the same purpose whenever there is uh, multiple bone islands and in periarticular distribution uh, but that would be in uh, elongated shape. If it is in elongated shape it will be considered as osteopathia striata and when it appears in a round shape it will be considered as osteopoikilosis.